Hey everybody, I'm Luis from TicTacTalk.com and today I'm going to show you how to create custom watch faces for your Mi Band 4. So this is our end goal, this watch face right here. Let's start. First of all, we need to download a tool. I'll leave the links in the description. Download this tool and zip it. Then download this watch face. Now we're going to copy the bin file to this folder. This will be our project folder. Drag it over the watch face app. Run anyway. This will create our project folder. Take a look at this content. As you can see, we are not starting from scratch, but we are going to change everything in here, almost everything. This is our original uh, background picture, but of course we are going to change it too. And this is our JSON file, the one you'll have to edit if you want to change the coordinates of the elements. Let's rename the folder, the working folder, and start changing some things. This is the background file I created using Photoshop. You want, if you want, you can create yours or you can download mine. I have decided for this particular watch face that all the elements, also known as complications, would have some shadows, so let's start by adding them. Of course that's not mandatory and you can do as you please. Let's add the numbers in the right places. This is not mandatory but it's important for the next step. I hope by now you're getting the point of all of this. If not, don't worry. You also have to search for these icons in Google or you can download mine. I'll leave the link in the description. Let's save this as the background file and replace the existing one. Now, the following step isn't really necessary, but it will optimize the file size at the end. You can delete some files that you won't need. 
but you will have to keep these files in a sequential order from 0000 to 0047. You can delete these files Now we're going to have to activate this info panel here because we are going to take the x and y value for the starting pixels for each uh, element you will have to set it to pixels and you will, you will have to find the first x and first y of each element Next, we are going to have to open the JSON file and start to change some elements, some coordinates of some elements. First, the tens of the hours. Then the ones, X and Y. And so on. Now we are going to take the top left x and top left y values for the steps counter and then the bottom right x and the bottom right y. If you have deleted all those unnecessary files now you have to change the, these image index values. The previous watch face had smaller numbers starting from 0021 upwards and now we won't need them. All the numbers will have the same size so the file name for the first number is 0001. You can delete this steps progress section. Be careful not to delete more or less than you really need because it will give an error when you when you're trying to compress this file, this watch trace. Also delete this section. And then you have to change the spacing here and there. Mostly three, but sometimes two. It's the number of pixels between digits. In steps, it's in this case, it's two, but it's three for all the other elements. You can also delete this section. Once again, be careful. We 
let's delete those commas. And that's it. Save it and close Notepad. Now, um, just copy your files to our working folder or the contents of that folder to this folder. Just drag the JSON file over the watch face up. And this will pack all your work into one file. This is the generated bin file. You can drag it over the watch face up to unpack it and check the previews. Looks like everything is in place. So that's it. Now we're going to install this watch face. There are ways for you to install, uh, to manually install the generated file, but I think it's best if you just upload it to this website so you can install it with the with their app and share your work with others. Select preview picture. Now you can select the bin file. In this case, it's the digital seal packet. Fill everything and upload it. And it's done. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, click subscribe, click like and I'll see you in the next video.